Hi there, welcome to yet another exciting edition of your most interactive session on TV in Ghana. This is Joy News Interactive with me, Ms. G, the Entertainment General. Get your comment through to us on Facebook, Twitter, it's Joy News on TV. And just so you know, we're also live on DSTV channel 421, Go TV channel 144. Now settle down and let's get started. So on Monday, the governing New Patriotic Party will be one year old already and the opposition National Democratic Congress seem unimpressed with the MPP's governance. Now the NDC thinks the MPP has been disappointing so far. I expected that, I'm sure you did. Well, with this in mind, the NDC thinks it can wrestle power from the MPP if the elections were held Today, like NAR, General Secretary of the National Democratic Congress, Johnson Asiedu Inkitia says, Ghanaians have clearly noticed that the governing MPP lied to win power, a reason it is having difficulties managing the country. You've been reacting to this on Facebook. Let me get to read your reactions. And Prince Nuruddin Balmia says, You're entitled to your opinion, but next time carry out a survey before concluding. Ghanaians voted out the NDC because they failed woefully to deliver. Therefore, same Ghanaians will also decide the fate of the ruling government come 2020, inshallah. And um, Ojiri says, then he and his party can organize elections for themselves. No one stops them. And uh, Sahilu says, do we need to talk about politics every season? This is exactly what is taking us back. Win election today and then start campaigning for the next, next money morning and uh, losing the story is the same. Okay. And um, Godson says, we don't change their government after one year they lose to the nation for eight good years and we voted them out they think we forgot soon they should not think that the mpp is doing they should not think what the mpp is doing means we are not coming back we are coming back to them that's not going to happen because mpp is still better and kari kari maxwell says joke upon joke the most ever joker person well that's <laughs> okay so uh, I see you doing it here. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure this is good enough to read on air. And uh, someone says, did he check the, check the growth rate in all sector? Is he aware of free education, restoration of teacher trainee allowance, among other things? This nonsense must stop in 2018. And Joe Boy says, it's Hamatan. How come? Okay. Uh, a single insect is still hovering around. Uh, and the worst of all, in a daytime, disturbing us with a tiny pro probiosis. Uh, looks like the army of the first December revolution has asserted the general on the battlefield after they have looted the spoil of war. Sentiments aside, dear general, the honeymoon of the last election hasn't cleared sufficiently from the one million differential, differential. Differential, sorry, differential voters to warrant a correlation of a probable election victory any day soon for you because of the clear TV license, Bruhaha. And uh, Kusia Pia says, my great God, is he thinking about election, but not jobs, education, and the proper lives of his fellow Ghanaians? Ghanaian voters, please, voting is not our problem. So... Uh, they are fooling you around. The founder of the NDC and Kufo must call for the accountabilities in office now. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Kusibwa, for God bless you. And uh, Apia Joy says, we perform very poor in almost all the regions, so it's better to think of reorganization than those cheap talks by our general secretary. And Anatabi says, it is true. I am truly a fan of the MPP, but I myself have, be, have regretted. We thought, or we thought, you want to say, we thought the poor are going to gain, but it's uh, vice versa. And um, Kofi says, he said the same thing before the 2016 election. To his credit, he's a politician, so no one should expect anything different from him and Tados uh, Justice says TV license fee is 36 Ghana cities per annum 
Failure to pay will land you a one-year jail term. Feeding fee per day for prisoners is one Ghana cities 80, pex, uh, 80 pesos. So your time saying one Ghana cities by 30 days, and that gives you 54 uh, Ghana cities. And uh, we have four months in a year that has 30 days. Okay, I don't get this. So we don't have four months in a year, so I don't get this. Okay, so let's move on to some other uh, messages. And Bernard Mensah says, yes, very, very true. Ghanaians have lost confidence in the Na Akufuado Baumia government. So, so lies and difficulties. They can't even manage a country at all. Ghanaians are still crying for change. The change, the change is killing us, pa. Okay. And... Uh, this is a mere joke because it's a four-year term, not one-year term. Incompetence of the MPP is far, far better than the NDC's competence. And that's from Walanyo Akutia and uh, Matthew Efa says, Is he saying this? Then Ghanaians should vote every year because they ruled the country for eight years. Peter Teta says, See you. Do you think because we are against the so-called TV license policy, so we have forgotten about your poor governance? And Nana Yao Gabriel says, Hey, so this man turned comedian so soon. Oh, that's not fair. And um, somebody's laughing in our house. I don't know how that sounds like. Anyway, and Aman Kwapesi says, Oh, no, most ignorant secretary ever. Okay, so uh, a lot of people not happy with uh, the general secretary, secretary's comments. And Honey Man says, Ghana, if not politics, is about fake pastors. El, shut up for slapping bodyguard. Before we go get something to talk about, none is thinking about improvement of our activities to develop our economy. And majority says, unfortunately, election is going to be on the 7th of December 2020. <laughs> That's a nice reminder. And Dominic Buahini says, see, okay, I'm not sure I want to read that uh, on air. So a lot of unpleasant comments coming through from you for the General Secretary of the NDC. General Asiedu in Kitsia. Now let's talk about TV license because it's a saga that seems unending. Our question today is simple. What exactly do you want? Okay, so do you want a total repeal of the levy or the extinction of the special court set to prosecute defaulters? Let's read your comments once again. I'm sure there's something definitely you want. Is it that you don't want the license at all or you don't want to go to court? And um, NS Kojo says, in fact, politicians are very wicked. How can you impose such a levy on us? What did they use the money that they already have for? Or what have they used the money they already have for? You're asking. They want to milk the poor and the needy for this money. Oh, too bad. Look around and see how things are going. And this tax again, why? What did the ordinary Ghanaian have? okay do to deserve this kind of treatment especially the poor you are asking and bright Cooper says the voice of the people is a voice of god just understand that majority of Ghanaians are not willing to pay we want value for money and godson uh, says total repeal of the colonial law <laughs> nobody should hide in the name of appointments to make money from the poor Ghanaian and uh I will not pay 100 years. And then he was ready to go to court then. Repeal and replace, says Kenneth Akiti. And, and please, let's not have GBC having anything to do with it. Not in the collection, not in the... Co not in collecting the money or in receiving the lion's share. Thank you. And Haruna says, levy for what? When education... Uh, why do we pay for content of GBC? Irrelevant and insensitive should be counseled and that's what you say alpha says what baffles me is the fact that our ministers with all the money won't pay this tv license so some <clears throat> okay so you say they won't pay the tv license some okay <clears throat> all in the name of the state and uh hashtag alawa and Peking says the law sh should i think that's what you want to say should be removed if the tv stations can operate with Without our money, then they should close down. In fact, I ain't going to pay. That's what he says. And I go. I have successfully deleted GTV from my decoder. Case closed. And that's what he's saying. Let's see one more he puts there. Menu of Bia, need TV lines and the same Bia. That's all. And uh, until says, um, one till says, they should sell GBC. I need my share to start a small business. Simple. And um, Olanya says, Please, CJ, Madam CJ, please 
rescue the perishing? When are you going to enact a law for politicians to declare the assets compulsory, uh, compulsory as you did to TV license? You're asking. And in my view, Ghanaians are requested to pay their TV license. It's an obligation. But the people who are making the laws have not obeyed a simple instruction, a simple instruction that is for them to declare their assets. I just want to know why and what's stopping them from declaring the assets. If the Speaker of Parliament and his MPs can't declare the assets, then why must we pay TV license so they can raise the money only for them to misuse, embezzle, mis misappropriate for their selfish gain? Hmm, only in Africa, the law works to favor the rich and disfavor the poor. God will fight for the poor and um okay so you're reminding us as a law that has been existing since 1996 uh 96 sorry 1966 sorry and so let's go on because we know that there's a law there is we're only asking whether you were interested in paying or you want to face the court or you want it repealed and uh that's essential okay that's essential services providers like ecg gwcl have special courts misplaced priorities and uh, Albert Gilbert says they should repeal the law simple Balmia says total annul of the levy period and uh, my name not TV license uh, okay I'm not sure what else is there but I'm sure it's one of those that will crack you up it's a very lengthy one and calculations upon calculations let's go to some other comments from you and Ebed Brandy says, repeal the mundane law. We waste a lot of taxpayers' money already. Don't add this to it. And Kekeli says, they should let us understand the whole thing better. I think people need some more education on the TV license issue. And uh, we will live, okay, we will leave this country for them. Elvis says, we just don't want to hear again in our entire life. That's all. And so a lot of people are unhappy about the fact that they might have to pay or they will have to pay tv licenses but let's take a break now we'll be back with some more stories here on join news interactive get interactive with us on join news on tv board on facebook and on twitter we'll be right back <laughs> Thanks for staying with us and uh, you're still watching Joy News Interactive here on the Joy News channel with me, Miss G. Now, let's get your comments through on Facebook and Twitter is Joy News on TV. We're also live on DSTV channel 421, Go TV channel 144. Now, moving on to issues that may upset lovers of games now the world health organization the who has classified addition to games as a mental health condition now i'm sure your boyfriends and all the guys you know who love football george ado jr and the rest who keep talking about football even their kosam i'm sure this one will change your perception or your love for the games will it Let's get to read your comments. Will it change your love for the games? Let's read what you've been posting on our social media platform. Uh, people are tagging their friends. Okay, so just like I mentioned some colleagues here, people are tagging their friends to come and see this by the World Health Organization. Now, let me start from Pledge Once. It says, hey, me, I can't stop playing game. -o. My close friends also love it. So how can we? He's asking. And uh, somebody thinks that... <laughs> okay let's go on to some others this one i don't want to read on air but people are just tagging their friends you know and uh, tanko mohammed says they're useless he doesn't agree with them and games like uh pes and fifa and part i think they are also talking about zuma and angela so i'm not sure they're talking about just you playing games on the computer but you're watching games as well i guess and uh, you need to see a doctor he's telling his friend uh, who he thinks loves games uh, that much and bernard alvin where he says this can't be true he cannot believe it and come and see for yourself he's telling somebody okay and somebody says <laughs> okay that's just for the fact that it's joining interactive i'll read this one join news please send me mobile money why <laughs> 
my joysticks are worn out. I I will play sa uh, try Masters League or okay. The sign the joy of signing Suarez and he's saying so some people that's exactly what is an addiction to games and addiction to sex drugs theft which one is a mental problem and he is not buying any of that he says is nonsensical and uh, Kojo says games help me recover from a broken heart that nearly messed my life yeah and I'm telling and you're telling me World Health Organization has said what it's better I die of this mental challenge. <laughs> I'm loving this one. And Maureen says, uh, everything about the WHO is mental health. I can't think far. And yo, we're here. I'm looking for a PS4 uh, to buy. Someone hook me up. And people are now going to look for games to buy. And um, uh, okay, people are not taking this kindly at all. I don't want to read uh, this one. Even homosexuality has been declassified as a mental problem then you can say okay so you want to say he hasn't been declassified as he hasn't been classified as a mental problem then you want you can't say game addiction is mental condition oh please and uh, a new one says hey who president but we have been playing fifa together for the past 12 years and why is this high fever of being mentally challenged so fifa and gym repair repaired my broken heart. So some people think that is a way of mending their broken heart and it's a good way of uh, spending their leisure time. But again, the year is still very young. Today is the fourth day of January and I hope and I know some people are still getting their New Year resolutions written down. Let me ask you, what's that one thing you want to achieve this year? I know you have a lot of them, but what's that just one, just one of the things, the many things just one of the many things that you want to achieve this year let's read okay so i'm asking you what you want to achieve also we want to know what you want the government to achieve this year there are lots of things that we've said already the government has promised a lot of things but what do you want the government to achieve what do you also want to achieve this year let's get to read your comments on facebook mm. So people are hoping that the government will achieve a lot and Gotten is one of those and he says number one one million dollar for each constituency one district one factory passing of right to information bill to make the job of the media easier and Asari Imano says students on government scholarship in Russia are dying of hunger their monies have not been paid and uh, Osman says Kobe really and retrieve Ghana's stolen money, says Eric Nati. Pay all areas, all teachers, says Haruna. And uh, one district, one factory, says uh, farms. And uh, Joe Baini says, improve the quality and condition of senior high school. One village, one dam, he's saying. Let's see if we have any more. And uh, Dia says, retro, retro perspective. On 2017, 2018, Akufuado's government needs to tackle unemployment uh, media into bracket, get their programs to the media houses for proper reporting so we can hold them when they report wrongly. And spare part dealers' issues, and lastly, proper governance. And uh, Eduse Enoch says, petroleum taxes, and Brent says, to commence, to commence scrapping off that tv license this thing and uh, people are so worried about tv license but a lot of you are expecting a lot from the government this year and to lay down structures to establish industrial work to create employment says teku and uh, create jobs says uh, togo richard and tv license collectors okay this is sharing a joke and uh, it says jail all thieves says agbenyo and uh, moses says he should make the agricultural sector very attractive by employing more extension officers to educate our farmers and i believe when the sector is attractive the youth will like to work there therefore creating sustainable jobs is assured and unemployment will be reduced now let's do some football now and since they say that you know addition to the football is mental challenge who is better lukaku or morata 
Alvaro. Let's see what you've been saying. Who is better of the two, Lukaku or Alvaro Murata? Let's see what you've been saying concerning these two. And you know, today is a big day. The CAF Awards is happening here in Ghana. And a lot of football enthusiasts are happy about it. They are so, so waiting to see who gets to pick up what later in the day. Those of us in entertainment are also happy because we get to see two fans perform. I saw the rehearsal session yesterday and I can't wait to see them. Gana do da do day. Da, 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 da. I don't know the song. Da, 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 da. That's all we get to hear. I don't know what kind of song is there, but I'm sure that those from the Francophone countries will understand. Da, 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 da. And also, the man himself, who is a German, a Ghanaian, and also has a bit of uh, American in him, would also be here, or he is in town to host the CAF Awards. I'm talking about Boris Kujo and his wife. So we're asking Lukaku and Alvaro Murata, which of them do you prefer? Let's read your comments now. And those are the picture of both gentlemen in your shots. Let's see which of them you think is better. Now, Morata is far better than Lukaku. Lukaku is a boxer oh, like Bukum Banko says, Kobe Shades, just like your name, you're throwing shades. And uh, Aram says, Masa, don't change the subjects. We are not done with the TV lines and DVL Libraha yet. <laughs> and uh, Foachu says, both are good in their respective clubs. And uh, Ni Adu says, it's a challenge, but how you go do them? We for take them like that. Okay, I don't know which one you're talking about. And I can't believe Manchester United had to choose between these two during the summer and uh hmm. okay the asa is just a waste of a player okay okay i don't know and king lukaku champion far gone and they both they are both benzema and uh so what has benzema got to do with uh, lukaku and Moratu, uh, Murata, sorry uh, anyway so I'm sure the football enthusiasts will be looking forward to this night. I will also be, uh, will bring you the latest in sports later when uh, George Ado Jr. brings you sports at midday. But that will be it for joining us interactive now. I'll be back tomorrow with some more. Thank you for joining us. Have a good day.